Good day everyone, you're welcome once again to this channel, Dr. Fred Academy. Today we shall be looking at the lungs of the canine species. So before us here is the lungs of the dog. Okay, the lungs is actually made up of two parts. We have the left and the right part. Okay, so if we hold it this way, this is a position, in situ, the in situ position in a standing animal okay this is the left part and then this is the right part of the lungs all right so we shall take them one after the other let's look at the left part of the lungs the left side of the lung is made up of two major lobes that is the apical or cranial lobe and then the caudal or diaphragmatic lobe i take it again the apical lobe and then the diaphragmatic lobe the apical lobe of this left side is bipartite it is bipartite that means this apical lobe has two parts if you look closely this cranial lobe is separated from this caudal lobe at this point you see so this Two here, it looks like it's two, but they are joined together. So this is considered as one lobe, while this is another lobe. So this apical or cranial lobe is bipartite, so that we can say that this one is the cranial lobe, the cranial part, sorry, of the apical lobe, and this is the caudal part of the apical lobe. I take it again. This is a cranial part of the apical lobe, and then this is a caudal part of the apical lobe. All right, and then this one here is the diaphragmatic or the caudal lobe. Now, if you look at this point, if it is arranged, that is a position in situ, we have a little space here, okay, so that if the sternum is on this point okay we have this little space here which is called the cardiac notch it is actually the part of the lungs in a live animal where we you have or one can hear the loudest heart sound using the stethoscope so this point is called the cardiac notch it is the part where the lungs does not fully cover the heart now let's look at the right part okay this is the right part so this right part has three major lobes this is the apical or the cranial lobe you see it is separated from the others it is the apical or the cranial lobe the second one here is the middle or the cardiac lobe okay this is a middle or the cardiac lobe this one you see it's also separated from others look at this point it is separated from these two other lobes now this third one here is the caudal or the diaphragmatic lobe okay the caudal or the diaphragmatic lobe we we'll take it again this is the apical or the cranial lobe this is the middle or cardiac lobe why this is the caudal or the diaphragmatic lobe why is the caudal lobe called the diaphragmatic lobe it is called the diaphragmatic lobe because of the fact that it makes attachment with the diaphragm it makes contact sorry it makes contact with the diaphragm so the diaphragm actually lies on this point okay now there is also another lobe okay on the most caudal aspect of these lungs it is also regarded as part of the right lungs okay it is this lobe that is actually that makes that actually makes up the fourth part of the 
right lungs. And this one here is called the accessory lobe. Okay, this what this is a lobe here. It's called the accessory lobe. Okay, this is it here. The accessory lobe. Okay, so generally speaking, one can say then that the left a part of the lungs is made up of two lobes that is the cranial and then the caudal loop while the right part is made up of four lobes now which is the cranial lobe the middle lobe the caudal lobe and then the accessory lobe okay let's look at the surfaces of these lobes these lobes have three surfaces Number one is a lateral surface. This is a lateral surface. Okay. This is the lateral surface. The surface that actually makes contact with the rib is called the lateral surface or the coastal surface. So this surface makes contact with the ribs. Okay. The second surface is when we lift this up. Okay. We see another surface here. So this surface makes contact with the heart. So this surface is called the cardiac surface. It also faces the mediastinum. So it can also be called the mediastinal surface. So this is the mediastinal surface. Okay. We also have the third surface, which is called the caudal surface or the diaphragmatic surface. So let's take it again briefly. This the first surface is called the lateral or the coastal surface okay the lateral or the coastal surface or the parietal surface okay now the second surface is what the mediastinal surface or the cardiac surface okay now the third surface here is the caudal surface because it faces caudally or the diaphragmatic surface because it's in closer position with the diaphragm thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so make sure you like our video make your comments when necessary and don't forget to share god bless you